Displaying data recorded in vehicle coordinates on a two-dimensional map around the ego vehicle is an important part of analyzing sensor coverages and detections for automated driving algorithm development. In this example, you will learn how to parse and plot recorded sensor data for a scenario on a bird's eye plot in MATLAB. The data files and code used in this video can be found in the MATLAB example linked in the description and can be opened by typing the following in the command window. I will be talking about plotting lane information, vision objects, and radar object sections of the example code today. An ego vehicle is defined as the vehicle that contains the sensors used for perceiving the environment. All sensors provide information relative to their positions on the ego vehicle. We will be using one camera and one radar sensor with long and medium coverage modes for this video. The positions and orientations of these sensors are as shown. An automated driving system can contain sensors located anywhere on the vehicle. Each sensor contains an origin in its own sensor coordinate system. In order to use values returned by individual sensors, we transform them into a unified frame of reference called the vehicle coordinate system. All vehicles, sensors, and their related coordinate systems are placed in the world coordinate system. A world coordinate system is important in global path planning, localization, and mapping. The vehicle coordinate system used by the automated driving toolbox is as follows. The longitudinal or x-axis points forward from the vehicle, the lateral or y-axis to the left of the vehicle, and z-axis points up from the ground. The origin is at the center of the ego vehicle's rear axle. More information about coordinate systems used can be found in the description. Step 1 is to read in the required data from two .mat files. The first one contains the sensor configurations like positions on the ego vehicle and coverage areas. These include information about the name and type of the sensors, their X, Y, Z and your positions relative to ego vehicle origin, sensor field of view, and range. The second file consists of recorded sensor data for 204 time steps. These include object positions reported by the radar and camera along with lane information. The radar and lane information were recorded at 10 updates per second and the camera at 20. Hence, empty arrays are added between every camera detection in order to show lack of new data. A single time step worth of data consists of multiple radar and camera points representing the longitude and lateral object positions along with left and right lane boundary information. Lane information is stored as a parabolic lane boundary object which contains information about a parabolic lane boundary model. This model is of the form y equal to ax square plus bx plus C, where A, B, and C are lane parameters such as curvature, heading angle, distance to left and right lane lines, etc. that can be obtained from cameras or lane finding algorithms. Step 2 is creating the bird's eye plot and displaying sensor limits and coverages. A bird's eye plot provides a top-down view of a scenario. In this example, we will configure and use a bird's eye plot to visualize sensor coverages, snapshots of all sensor data in a scenario, and a continuous stream of sensor data. A typical bird's eye plot workflow is as follows. Create a bird's eye object to store the plots you're interested in. Then create a plotter to configure the display of your data. Next, plot the data using the plotter. Let's code these steps. First, create a bird's eye plot and limit its axis to 90 meters in front and 35 meters on either side of the ego vehicle. Next, create the following plotters. A coverage area plotter to plot the sensor coverages, a detection plotter to plot sensor detections, and a lane boundary plotter to plot lane boundaries. 
loop through the sensor configurations and plot the sensor positions, ranges and field of views as red and blue coverage areas. Step 3 is plotting a snapshot of the data. In order to plot all the data from a single time step, extract the required sensor and lane data for the 125th time step and store in appropriately named arrays. Pass these arrays along with the previously created plotters as input to the plot detection function in order to display this data on the birds eye plot. The red axis represent the radar detections, the blue triangles the camera and the black lines the lane boundaries. Put step 3 inside a loop to continuously plot all the detections in a scenario. Loop through all the time steps in the recorded file, extract sensor and lane information for the current time step, call the plotters, use the plot detection function to plot the data and finally update the time to the next one. Pause for 50 milliseconds for a realistic display rate. If you want to store the output as a video, use get frame and save each frame in an array. Next create a video object and write the frames to the object. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in learning more about birds eye plots or parsing and plotting sensor data, please refer to the links in the description below.